Hi, this is Brent from Studio One Expert. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you can use the Waves Vocal Writer plugin to perform real-time vocal automation. First, let's take a listen to how the track sounds in the context of the mix with Vocal Writer Bypassed. I've been wondering if you can remember me Cause I can't get you out from my mind and I think about you all at the time. Now, as we can hear, the vocal is quite well recorded, but it is quite dynamic. And one thing that could really benefit this track is some automation. Now, a big question with the vocal writer is whereabouts do you place this as an insert on a, a track? And the real answer is it's personal preference. You could put this anywhere. You could put this at the start and try and level out the peaks so that your compression doesn't have to work as hard. Or you could put this at the end of your chain for some overall leveling once you've done your compression. I personally prefer to have it at the start of the chain. This way my compressors afterwards aren't going to have to work as hard. Now Vocal Rider is a really easy plugin to use and understand. You can put it in on your channel and immediately the rider and the center heel start making some movements. You want to pay attention to the target up the top, the rider in the center and the range here. Now the target sets the overall sweet spot of where you want the vocal to sit in context with the mix. The range is going to set the limit and boundary of how high and low you want the threshold for the rider to move. And the rider in the middle will be working in correspondence with the range and the target to determine how much to either boost or attenuate the vocal. So let's enable the vocal rider and listen to what it's doing. I've been wondering if you can remember me Cause I can't get you out from my mind And I think about you all at the time So to me it sounds like the automation there is reducing the dynamic range too much and that's because the slider control up here is determining how much the rider is going to either increase or depreciate the actual signal. If the slider is above the yellow signal level, the rider will assume that the volume is too low and it'll move it up and stay at the maximum all the time. Whereas in this scenario, the slider is below the yellow level and the rider will assume that the volume is very high and it's moving it down. So as you could see there, the slider was down below unity gain for the majority of the time. So what we want to do is have a bit of a more consistent level. So we need to try and find the sweet spot for the target to sit. So let's have a play with that. I've been you can remember Sounds like it's a bit too high there. Me, cause I can't get you Sounds good then once I've backed it off. And I think now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly reduce the range. I've been wondering if this is because I don't want the vocal rider working too hard as I am going to have some cascade of compression after vocal rider. And I think about you all at the time Now to me that sounds a lot more consistent and the only thing I want to play with now is the attack time. So you have the fast and slow attack time on a toggle switch here which is really basic but it's going to allow you a little bit more control over how fast the vocal rider will kick in. I've been wondering if you can remember me Cause I can't for me the slow attack time works better because I feel it sounds more natural since the dynamics here are quite open and there's not a whole lot going on in this part. So I hope you got something out of that and I'll see you in the next one.